Odin Sphere Leaf Thrasir is a 2D hack and slash action RPG that takes place in an absolutely breathtakingly beautiful world. This entire game is running through the most beautiful pastoral fantasy landscapes you will see in your gaming life. The game is told through the perspective of a little girl reading several books. There are different stories in the game, so once you complete one book, you move on to the next book, and every individual book has a new protagonist. So you have new attacks, new special abilities, and new magic spells to level up and use in combat. The combat in this game is really satisfying and addictive. You use the attack button in combination with the arrow keys and the jump command and the glide command to perform various aerial or ground attacks. Then you mix all of that in with the dozens and dozens of special moves all the characters have. And then on top of that there's a whole bunch of magical spells the characters have. The game encourages you to be as good as possible, in fact during every single fight the game grades you. And the higher your grade at the end of the fight the more and better loot you will receive from the chest that appears at the end of the fight. The one complaint I have with the combat is the difficulty can be all over the place. A lot of the time, a mid-boss halfway towards the final boss of an area is a lot harder than the actual final boss of an area. On top of that, sometimes a boss in an earlier chapter in the game is much harder to beat than the boss in a much later chapter of the game. And to me, I don't know, this rubs me the wrong way. I just feel like there are some things in games that have to be traditional. And the perpetual increasing of difficulty within the game is one thing that I'm kind of a purist about. Now you level up and gain EXP during combat, but another way you can level up and gain EXP is by eating a lot. For example, you find some seeds while questing, you plant the seeds, you release some of this energy from your staff or weapon, it flies into the plants that you just planted and they grow really fast, you cut down the plants and you eat the fruit and then these fruits that you just ate increase your EXP and also heal your hit points a little bit. Another way you can do this is just to pretty much find food from monsters that you killed or even buy food from various uh, stores in the game or even the cafeteria. Some of these uh, NPCs in the game are basically places where you walk in and they cook for you. One way they can cook for you is you bring them ingredients and also you need to have uh, recipes for these ingredients that again you find in the world. Another way they can cook for you is you bring them special coins that you uh, uh, get from fighting various monsters and you use these coins to buy the food. All of this is pretty much busy work. Like they could have left all of this cooking and foraging for food and growing crops completely out of the game and nothing would really change fundamentally with the game. A game like this is mostly about the fun hack and slash combat and the beautiful scenery. The game is pretty long and it also has a ton of voice acting. Pretty much any character you see in the game will have a voice actor. And this leads me to all the stories in the game. They are pretty good. It's your standard fantasy adventure where there's kings and demons and various monsters to fight. There's falling in love, there's betraying your king, all that sort of thing. Every single frame in this game is a beautiful, living, breathing painting. It's almost overwhelming how good this game looks. Sometimes you just stop to look at the scenery. And then of course you have the music, which is also fairly decent. And aside from the food portions of the game, nothing else really gets boring and repetitive. Even though the game is fairly long, the second you get kind of bored, fighting through hordes of monsters with a character, that character's story is over and you move on to a completely new characters with a new set of moves, a new set of special attacks, a new set of magical spells for you to upgrade and enjoy in combat. This is a game that I definitely recommend for fans of hack and slash games, platforming games, and RPGs. This is a must have. It gets an official Stan Burden rating of a 9.1 out of 10.
Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.